What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on CLOV stock. And first of all guys, I will show you where we are now on the price chart. Then I will show you some fundamental news that might affect uh, the price of this stock. And then we will continue with uh, some targets and with the technical analysis. But before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Webull valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. So, I made my previous video uh, somewhere at this point and I've told you that we have uh, several major key points. First of all, we have uh, two major resistances that are at levels of uh, 1584 and 17.67. Uh, uh, then we have one support and I've told you that if uh, we break uh, this support, we might hit a level of uh, 0.786. It is a Fibonacci retracement level from the bottom of entire structure to the top, right here. And as you can see, we touch it to the tick and from this point the price is up for about uh, 22% and it is a very good price movement and I will show you in my latest technical analysis why I am thinking so. But for now let's uh, take a look uh, on uh, their financials. Its total market cap is uh, 4.91 billion dollars. They have a revenue of uh, 720.55 million dollars with a negative net income of 156.65 million dollars. They have a total cash position of $684.57 million and the total debt of $55.94 million. Their current ratio is 4.68 and this current ratio is a very very good current ratio because the average reference point is 1.5. So, Let's continue with the latest news. Uh, we are on Seeking Alpha as well. And this article was published on June 24th and it says Clover Health Investments plans expansion into 101 new markets. And let me quote you these bullets. Clover Health uh, rallies 8% per market as it announces plans to nearly double its geographic footprint. The expansion will make Clover's Medicare Advantage plans available to eligible individuals in a total of 209 counties across 9 states. As of now, it currently offers uh, its MA plans in 108 counties, where it cares for about uh, 66,300 members and uh, the expansion will bring coverage to an additional 101 counties. Clover also has plans available in Arizona, Mississippi, Pennsylvania and Tennessee. Going forward, we plan to be even more focused on uh, expanding Clover's plans to eligibles in these underserved communities, said Andrew Toy, president of Clover Health. On top of that, let me show you this news. Uh, it was published on June 23rd and it's titled Clover Health shares continue upswing with 12% rise in morning trading. And let me quote you these bullets. Following yesterday's uh, strong performance shares of Clover Health Investments are continuing to pick up steam and are currently up 12% in morning trading. The Medicare Advantage insurer, backed by venture capitalist uh, Chamath Palihaptia, may have been uh, buried yesterday and uh, today by a rise in mentions on Wall Street Bets Reddit forum. In addition, a Monday sec filing appeared uh, to confirm speculation that the company is focused on a short squeeze. Data from Fintel shows that Clover short volume ratio stands at 28%. And let me show you these stats. For now, it has a short volume ratio at level of 25.12% uh, as of uh, June 24th, 2021. So, it is rather high short volume ratio. On top of that, uh, they have a short borrow fee rate at level of 33.02%. And this number is also very high. So, technically, we still have the possibility to short squeeze uh, this stock. And let me show you this. We are on uh, keywordcount.com and uh, this uh, website shows uh, the mentions uh, on uh, Wall Street Bets community of uh, certain stocks. And as you can see, we have uh, CLOV stock at the top of all the stocks uh, that we have for now. Second one is Tesla, third one is Wish and so on and so forth. And uh, right here, you can see the number of mentions and uh, CLOV has uh, 950 mentions. Second one is uh, Tesla and uh, it has uh, 880 mentions. So, 
this number is still high uh, but let me show you this uh, daily mentions is down for about 19 percent during last 24 hours and uh, as you can see other mentions weekly and monthly are up but we have to keep in mind that for now we are slightly losing momentum the next one you can see that uh, during last several days from June 22nd to June uh, 24th we have also slight decline in uh, this uh, volume of mentions and this means we have to be extremely cautious with this stock on top of that right here uh, you can find the article on investor place and uh, it was published just eight hours ago and it's titled with the squeeze clearly over it's time to ditch clover and let me show you this there is a reason why short sellers pound it on CLOV stock starting in February. As vocal skeptic Hindenburg Research reported that month, the company failed to disclose it was under DOJ investigation. The DOJ is taking a look at alleged kickbacks and undisclosed third-party deals as well as some of its marketing practices. Investigations may be par for the course of uh, this industry as seen from controversies surrounding old-school names in this space. As a monthly full comment that I recently discussed, chances are at worst, Clover will face only a fine if the allegations prove true. So we have a downside and uh, this might uh, negatively impact the price of the stock. Uh, but let's continue with the technical analysis. And before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So as you can see, we have very good uh, movement to the upside and we have uh, rather good volume on every impulse right here and it is very important and on top of that let me show you that in my opinion we have uh, this type of formation it is a rising bearish wedge and this means uh, this uh, structure might be unloaded uh, and we might have a, a pullback and this pullback uh, might hit uh, let me show it to you a level of uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.618 0 0.65 so to the mark of uh, 12.6 dollars we might have a pullback and from this point we might go up why i am thinking so uh, let me show you this right here we have a rather decent uh, up movement and then we have very huge spike in price from this point to the top we had more than 200 percent and uh, we have uh, absolutely the same pattern as you can see we have uh, rising uh, volume right here and then we have uh, some pause and uh, this is the date of uh, June the 7th where we start to uh, climb up and uh, it was a Monday when we start to this uh, up movement and let me remind you that for now we are on Friday and uh, right after the weekend we might have another spike uh, with the good sentiment from Wall Street bets and with their support we might have uh, next potential up movement and we might hit very juicy profits so what should you do if you want to catch this trade first of all do not put the money that you are not willing to lose it is extremely risky trade next one do not go all in because every time you almost every time you can ladder your buys down in order to achieve more attractive average price and third one do not put stop loss close to your entry price this is also because of the volatility and in order to make some profits you have to be in trade rather to be kicked out from the trade uh, by random price action so and uh, what should you do if uh, you want to catch this trade basically you can ladder your buys down according to these levels you can buy right here at uh, 0 0.5 level if we will get if we will hit uh, this uh, point then measure accumulation point might be at this level and uh, if we will break uh, this bottom it will indicate that we still in the downtrend and uh, we have to be extremely cautious because we can hit uh, lower points and also you have to keep an eye on wall street bets community and on the sentiment that is around this community so i think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now if we will continue this uh, up movement i will uh, do an update and i will show you the targets that we might hit uh, in the uh, nearest future but so far from the technical standpoint that's it and if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and uh, see you guys and girls next time bye